head over that way, and we can do our emergency descent down through that hole. Like I said, basically what we're the reason why we're simulating this is for an engine fire, or I like to do it in the turbo, you know, for oxygen failure. But at 25,000 feet, you know, you want to get down fast. You only have you know two to three minutes of useful consciousness. You can lose 5,000 feet a minute, so you know it's a good way to get down quick. As you can see from this chart, the use time of useful consciousness degrades greatly once you get beyond 18,000 feet. This is why it's so important to use your pulse oximeter to gauge your oxygen level from that uh, 18 to 25,000 foot range. All right, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to leave the flaps up. We're going to bring the power all the way out. And we're going to start at 45 degree bank. You can either do left or right. And we're going to go, you can go to VNE. Usually when I'm practicing it, I only go to VNO. So, okay. you know, just at the bottom of the yellow. Power all the way out. And you have to push that nose forward. And you can see you, it'll be fairly Altitude. aggressive. Yep, so. I just kind of maintain right here. The important thing to remember, you don't want to overstress the airplane, so when we roll out, we're going to roll wings level and then slowly pitch up. Yep, so you can see we're not even at VNO yet, and we're at 6,000 feet a minute descent. Yeah. So you can really get down quick if you needed to. All right, so you can go ahead and go wings level first. And then slowly add back pressure to keep from overstressing the airplane. Perfect. You can see just in a few seconds there, we lost uh, almost 3,000 feet. Yeah. If you need to get down quick for engine fire or some other emergency, you can definitely do it.